Hello everyone, this is John from Vulgar Kitten Studios, and I'm very happy to announce today I'm going to be doing a new third person controller series. And in this series, we're actually going to create a third person shooter controller, not just a regular third person controller like I did in the last series. And also, I just want to apologize for the explosions in the background. My girlfriend's actually playing Saints Row 3, uh, so that's happening. Um, also, I want to give a disclaimer. Uh, there's not going to be any source code download for this series. I don't feel that people really learn in an effective way if they just download the source code and try to implement it. And in fact, we'll probably spend a lot more time trying to implement it doing it that way rather than just watching the videos. Uh, so just so you know, I don't give away the source code from these de from these videos, uh, but you can watch the videos and you'll be able to implement the system perfectly fine. Alright, so one more disclaimer is I'm actually using a couple of paid assets from the asset store that I can't give away because of licensing purposes, uh, but they're not really essential to the system that we're going to be building. Uh, one of the assets that I'll be using that is paid is the 6x7 prototype uh, level development package. Uh, it's just a package for rapid level development, uh, and that's what I've used to set up the scene here, so you will need to create your own scene. Also, I'm using the JMO assets uh, war effects package to do the muzzle flash uh, so I can't give that one away either but the rest of the stuff as far as animations are concerned and the models and things I will be providing in a download link and most of those are actually on the asset store uh, for free so I'm just going to kind of cut out the middleman and you won't have to download them from the asset store you can just get them in a package from me all right, so uh, a couple of the features of this uh, of this uh, controller is one, it uses inverse kinematics. Uh, so we're not using the Mechanum inverse kinematics that it has built in because that's a pro only feature. Uh, this is actually an inverse kinematic system that I got off of the asset store for free. So I'm going to be showing you how to work with that. Uh, so let me just go ahead and show you how it works real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and play the game and I'm just going to come over to the scene view here and I have this uh, gizmo rig set up for the gun so we can see that his hands are actually being resolved with IKs to the gun uh, but if I grab this right grip here which is just a target for his right hand and I move that then it's actually using a Sokotoa trigonometry algorithm to adjust the bones in an inverse kinematic chain. Uh, we also have the same thing going on with these pole targets. They're just uh, pole targets for the elbows, so if we move them up and down or uh, side to side, whatever, it's going to adjust the elbow position as well. Alright, so uh, let's just go ahead and do a preview of the controller itself. And I've just built that scene in a standalone EXE, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up and we'll hit play and again this is using unity free so you'll see the splash screen here and uh, the first thing the first really cool feature is we can actually rotate our camera all the way around our player uh, we can also see that he's looking his head is looking at our reticle that little point on the screen uh, so that's really cool and if I uh, point the camera away from his forward direction and I just hit forward he'll actually adjust his direction to go in that direction and as I move the camera he'll follow it there but if I stop then I can still move the camera all the way around the player alright uh, so if I just left click then we'll see uh, we'll see him fire off a couple of rounds uh, but let me just go ahead and point the camera over this way and if I fire he'll actually just fire from the hip in the direction of his gun but if I right click and I go into aim mode then I can actually accurately pinpoint uh, where I want to fire and if we move our camera up and down we can see the IKs on his hands actually resolve uh, to how the how the gun is facing and the gun is facing in the direction of wherever our reticle is on the screen there. Uh, also we can hold it down and have rapid fire so uh, you can have fun with that there's also running in this controller but I don't have any running animations and that's just because of a lack of animations but if you do have running animations and you want to put it in the system then that's going to be pretty easy to do uh, we also have a jump and the jump is the same animation as the fall animation just like I did in my last tutorial in fact the uh, the animator controller is almost exactly the same so let me just fall off here and we can see him fall and that's pretty much it for the controller 
Uh, like I said, I'm very proud to be the first person to actually do a tutorial like this. I've seen so many requests all over the internet of people wanting a third person shooter controller and just no useful information whatsoever out there about it. So uh, again, like I said, I'm very happy to be the first one to do that. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.